In just a few days, thousands of people in Southwest Florida will hit the pavement and race for a cure. The annual Susan G. Komen race takes place on Saturday and ahead of the event, NBC2 is taking an in-depth look at breast cancer. How is it treated? How is it changing lives? And most importantly, how are women coping with it? Here's NBC2's Nick Saletti with our first report. He takes a look at a new treatment some have called a wonder drug. Come here, Keith. Cape Coral resident Sandy Kugels really got her hands full. In addition to her husband and son, she's got three furry, four-legged bundles of joy to chase after, and not always on dry land. But it's not just the typical family struggles that Sandy's got on her mind. Um, my son knows nothing else but his mom's been sick. Sandy has battled breast cancer since 1999. It's a disease she's defied many times in 13 years. And through those pre-surgical tests, we found out that it had come back in the lungs. But for Sandy, cancer always seems to rear its ugly head once again. She's been on a variety of chemotherapy treatments nonstop since 2005. When one stops working, we move right on to the next one. Here at Florida Cancer Specialists, Sandy's taking part in clinical trials of TDM1, who some have called a wonder drug. This drug will find the cancer cells and destroy them um, preferentially over anything else. So the side effects are usually much better than regular chemotherapy. So who is TDM1 for? The drug is for patients who have HER2 positive breast cancer. HER2 is a protein found in some forms of the disease that promotes cancer growth. Those cancers can be more aggressive and more resistant to other treatments. It could also be used to treat late stage forms of this cancer and ones that were diagnosed at a younger age. The way TDM1 works is it joins these two molecules so that the DM1 part of it, the chemotherapy part of it, is not just circulating loosely, but rather it is directed to the tumor by Herceptin. Sandy's still adjusting to the new treatment. She's had a few side effects, including trouble staying hydrated. But if it's not this drug, Sandy hopes another will help her win this precious battle once and for all. To be quite honest, I have full faith in all of the medicines. There's always something new coming out. There's always something I can try. Nick Saletti, NBC2. NBC2 is taking a special look at breast health in preparation for Saturday's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Tonight, a story about tough times, made even tougher by cancer. Losing your job and losing your health insurance is a stark reality for millions of people in this country, and it happened to one Collier County woman just months before doctors diagnosed her with breast cancer. But as NBC2's Nick Saletti shows us, all hope was not lost. I'm going to be 62 this June. It's a tough age to try to look for another job. Kathy Wagner may seem just like any other victim of a down economy. I was at an all-time low, and I just thought, okay, what else can happen now? But with no job and no medical insurance, things were about to get even worse. It was pretty obvious right off the bat she had a fairly advanced breast cancer. It was a lump that Kathy had ignored for a year. Without any insurance, she thought getting treated was out of the question. She re wasn't really sure that she was going to pursue a diagnosis. Treatment Lynn Hurley, life. a breast it's health a navigator, different. was about to change all that. Well, I call her Lynn Walks on Water. I literally help women navigate through the diagnosis of breast cancer, and I find resources for them for whatever it is that they need. Whatever Kathy needs in terms of medical care, Lynn is there to set it up. I got his card. I meant to bring it with me. I think that means Lynn helps Kathy get the screenings, medication, doctor's visits, chemotherapy, and surgery she needs to win the battle against her disease. It's provided in part through a grant from the Susan G. Komen Foundation. And Kathy Again, doesn't friend. have to spend um, a dime. We usually donate our time. And our Surgeon David Lehman also volunteer their time. Dr. Lehman will perform her breast surgery. Not only has the economy become much more difficult, but private insurance for many people has become absolutely unobtainable. So frequently women are scared. Kathy's still going through chemo, but believes she'll conquer her disease. She wants other women to know there is always a way to solve the puzzle, no matter how tricky it may seem. And even when you're at your lowest point and you think there is nobody there for you, there is help. Nick Saletti, NBC2. Well, NBC2 is continuing our special look at breast health this week, all in preparation for Saturday's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Tonight, a local nurse turned cancer into her true calling. After helping save lives in the emergency room, Lori Patton came to realize oncology was her passion, but only after her own battles with what could have been two deadly diseases. NBC2's Nick Saletti shows us how she's motivating others to win the war against cancer.
But was it always 25 or? Never looked back once. Becoming a nurse was a dream come okay. true for yeah. Lori Patton. Okay. But after oh, getting her please. start in the emergency room. Always a new patient and always a new challenge. She never anticipated she'd be sitting on the other side. And I kept thinking I was going to die. Doctors diagnosed Lori with melanoma. I sat in my bedroom for about four hours in the dark and was planning on my life ending. Yet Lori was unstoppable. I beat it. Yes. She pummeled skin cancer, all while helping to save lives in the ER. But Lori wasn't out of cancer's grip just yet. And the thought that came to me was, why not you? What makes you so special? This time, it was breast cancer. At first, the why me's flooded her mind. But what seemed like a curse would later steer Lori towards a new destiny. It was very frightening to be sitting in the chemo chair and I knew that I could give back someday. And giving back is what she does today at Florida Cancer Specialists in Naples. After getting certified in oncology, Lori left the ER and is now at the side of cancer patients. I always hope I get her. Ones like Patty Blackmore, who's battling breast cancer. If I'm afraid, um, she makes me, my fears go away. Although Lori may be too modest to see it, Having another survivor to show you the ropes can mean the world. She's a survivor, and that's where I want to get to be, to say that I am a survivor. From chemo to a warm laugh to words of encouragement, okay. <laughs> Lori helps other patients triumph over cancer just like she did. But I know I'm going to beat this. I know I am. Not just talking the talk. You can go on to, with your life, to um, live your life like you want to. There's always hope. But also walking the walk. Nick Saletti, NBC2. NBC2 is continuing our special look at breast cancer ahead of this weekend. Susan G. Komen race for the cure. Tonight, no job, no insurance, no problem. A clinic in North Fort Myers is helping women get the life-saving screenings they need and a whole lot more. As NBC2's Nick Saletti shows us, it's giving patients some peace of mind. <coughs> So good morning. Connie Rush is here at the Senior Friendship Health and Wellness Center in North Fort Myers for a typical checkup. Take some deep breaths. Her doctor is making sure a new medication is working properly. Any problems with fatigue or weakness? But the clinic does a lot more than just that. I couldn't afford to have the mammogram. Connie had no job, no insurance, and seemingly nowhere to turn. Breast cancer runs in my family, and it's the fear of not knowing, and you can't afford to get it, and then it's too late. Our clinic, um, seeks to help women um, 50 to 64. Julie Ramirez is health and wellness director for Senior Friendship Centers. Through money from the state and funding from the Susan G. Komen Foundation, she's able to put patients like Connie in touch with doctors and even pay for crucial screening tests like mammograms. In the last month alone, we've had two women come in that they had breast cancer, and so they're getting the treatment they need. Otherwise, they wouldn't have had the sources. Volunteer doctors start with a very thorough breast screening. That's not a simple thing of just feeling the breast for lumps and bumps. We're looking for skin changes. We're looking for retracting of the skin, dimpling, um, redness, anything that's unusual. It's been like four or five years since I'd had one. Since it had been years so since Connie had a mammogram, it's doctors it's were it's able to order one for her, and she didn't have to pay a dime. I may not be saving Connie's life today or tomorrow, but together we're saving her life 10, 15, 20 years from now. With a family history of breast cancer and an aunt who died from the disease, Connie knows the difference between life and death tomorrow could be something as simple as a free exam today. You can't chance it. It just might be too late. Nick Saletti, NBC2. All week long, NBC2 has taken an in-depth look into breast cancer in preparation for tomorrow's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Tonight, four North Fort Myers women have something in common. As NBC2's Nick Saletti shows us, they've turned fighting a life-threatening disease into a lasting friendship. Judging from her swing, you'd never guess this is Brenda Wallace's first time on the fairway in months. Golfing is what Brenda and her three friends love to do. They call this North Fort Myers neighborhood home and hit the course as much as possible. But lately, they've had more important things on their minds. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, DCIS, in November of 2011. A diagnosis that rocked Brenda's world. But she wasn't alone, not by a long shot. She knew right where to look when her world was turned upside down. I knew I was in trouble when they said, 
um, the radiologist is going to come out and speak to you. And I thought, ugh. <laughs> and I was going to die. It was just a very tumultuous time emotionally for me. His son -in -law. At different times, in different places, in different ways, all four of these women received the same diagnosis of breast cancer. Fate is what they believe finally brought them together. We talk about, you know, there was some reason we were all put within the same two blocks. <laughs> the ladies now serve as their own support group, knowing when to ask questions. Just there, and how was that test? How was your doctor appointment? How was this? Um, you know, they're just right there. Lend a listening ear. People who think they're finished with everything, I think you still need an emotional um, connection with women who do understand it. And to be that hard rock to hold on to. It was just such a, um, an emotional time because they're all, the, you know, they're just there for you. But their time together doesn't just center around breast cancer. There's plenty of laughter and their love of wine. We have an appreciation for wine <laughs> together. And How about uh, good appreciation? Oh, very. It's a real big appreciation. As Brenda continues to battle her disease, she takes comfort in knowing she's got three fellow survivors, sisters really, who will guide her on the path of recovery, wipe away any tears, and celebrate her achievements, both on the golf course and off. It's not something that you can describe. It's just in your heart. In North Fort Myers, Nick Saletti, NBC2.